So this is a follow-up to a video I did a few months ago talking about um, my current employment and opportunities I have to receive a graduate degree pretty much free of charge. All right. It's a great deal and I think it's a, a benefit that's packaged in so that they can pay you a little bit less and you get a free degree out of it. Totally understandable. I'm working for a university. I mean, they got to do what they got to do to get talent, right? And I accepted the job. Everything's hunky-dory. I like what I do. But uh, as far as the grad degree goes, I don't know how I would fit it in. I'm, I'm thinking about it. And I'm thinking, great opportunity. Yeah. Um, adding master to my title. And you'd all have to call me Master Luke. I don't care well, what you say. That's what would have to happen. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Um, but right now, I'm juggling way too much. I've got a lot of family time going on. I'm over here on my lunch break from work. Um, the evenings? Evenings are taken up while I build my company, okay? I'm trying to build a business of my own so I can be self-employed over the next decade, okay? Uh, do you want me just to put that on pause and that's when I'll be doing my studying? Because I don't do that every night. I should. I should be doing that every night. But I don't. Because I also want to keep my marriage healthy. <laughs> so I, I also need sleep. <laughs> and staying up till midnight every single night and waking up at 5 a.m. drives me a little crazy. So <laughs> most days, working towards, towards my goals, sure. Uh, but when you're in grad school, what, you're just going to email the professor and be like, hey, I'm not doing the homework because I'm tired. <laughs> right. Okay. I'm sure that'll go over great. Yeah, you're going to be an A-plus student. No, you've, you've got to be doing your work every single day. You actually have to earn the degree. Uh, so time-wise, I'm just not seeing where I would fit it in. How would I make that work? I'd make it work if I wanted it. You know what I mean? Like when you want something bad enough, you'll do it and all that, all that uh, stuff people tell you. But I just don't see it in my current lifestyle. Um... So that covers fitting it in time-wise and the cost of that time, too. If I were to fit it in, I mean, I'm going to be sacrificing a lot of time with the kids. Any kind of holidays we choose to take, whether it's an official holiday or whatnot, I'm definitely bringing my studies with me. I'm, I'm a fastidious student. I, I need to get the top score. High score, uh, set the curve, whatever. I need that for my pride. <laughs> so just like easing through... I could see an argument to do that, you know, seize to get degrees, that kind of thing, but I don't know. It's hard for me to sleep at night when I produce content of that caliber. And this, these videos not included, okay? I, I hear you in there in the comments, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and so then let's look at opportunity costs for the future. You know, if I don't get a master's degree right now, what am I going to do instead? Will I regret not getting it? Uh, what's the cost benefit of getting one? So, I mean, yeah, it adds some credentials to my resume. That's pretty good. Yes, it opens a lot of doors in more government work. I mean, you've got to be of a certain education level to do certain jobs. And that's in the private sector as well, for sure. Um, why would I want to work my way up a corporate ladder when I'm trying right now to make my own corporate ladder? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense to my brain. It's like... I may not make a successful self-employed business for the next 20 years. Okay, that's fine. I'm willing to accept that I could die not being a successful entrepreneur. That's okay with me. And that's why I choose to do that rather than like brute force my way to CEO of Microsoft, you know, <laughs> or to be like director of the department of blah, blah, blah. Like, okay, cool. <laughs> and the money, I think honestly scales better. If I am successful, running your own business, you can make a lot more money than you can as an employee. The proof is in the pudding. And yes, it takes a lot of work and a lot of time. Holy cannoli. I'm not discounting that. All this time argument that I was making earlier. You know, the master's degree will take time away from family. It'll take time away from the stuff I'm building. Sure. You don't think running your own business is, is not going to take time away from all that? Of course it will. Of course it will. And that's the balance that you have to learn to strive. You've got to set it up in such a way that every minute isn't consumed by your work. 
you got to set it up so that the business keeps running when you're not around. <laughs> Otherwise, you just made yourself a new pair of shackles, right? And that's why I'm willing to take 20 years to make any of these things work. You see? I think what I'm doing scales better than the master's degree. I think what it does is provide me a quality of life that I prefer to spending the next two to four years in school and then the next two decades working for someone else. Which I might end up doing anyway, right? But at least I'm trying something else. And I don't want to sacrifice that on the altar of becoming Master Luke. That, that would be cool. But nah, I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to figure it out. And it, it may be folly. You know, I, one day I may look back and go, ah, if only I'd gotten that master's degree for free. Yeah, I could see that. I could see regret. But the regret I feel in the hypothetical 900-year-old loop <laughs> is it's greater. Uh, the regret I would feel giving up trying to make my own thing work is greater than not getting the master's degree. And so that's pretty much what decided it for me. Like, if you don't want it as bad as you want these other things, go for the other things. So, we'll see. We can all laugh later when I'm wrong or something. <laughs> Have a great day. Take care of yourself.